Hey guys, so today is Beauty Tip Thursday and um, I got a new camera which I'm super excited about. Anyways, today's beauty tip is spa days or like kind of facials at home. Um, <laughs> today is about um, at home kind of facial spa days. Um, you can kind of achieve the same thing kind of the same thing um, as if you were to go to a spa um, with facials and um, facials are really good for your skin they're good for your pores they really deep clean it and I know that they can get kind of expensive so I'm gonna give you some tips as to achieve something similar at home um, obviously it is no like um, um, as spa quality and you should as I recommend you should probably do a facial at least if not um, once a month once every few months so I'm gonna get started on uh, masks I have go I've got lots of them and here's another one um, ah! <laughs> uh, masks masks are really good because they um, certain different types of food or uh, products like natural products are really good for your skin and they can penetrate different uh, locations on your face different things so that um, you can get deep cleaning uh, just with facials at home so um, as you guys know I am a lush junkie but I just found these hear me these at um, Target and they're like two dollars or something they're super cheap and they have a lot of product in them um, I used one just earlier this week and I had so much left over that I just like popped it into my uh, one of my extra lush jars and um, I can use it a second one so they're good they have all sorts of masks nowadays this is a deep uh, cleansing one it's an aloe vera cream mask and um, it just helps with like problem areas like if you're oily through your t-zone or if you're just oily in general and it's also good for like normal um, skin and it really helps work with acne so if you're acne prone that's good and as you guys know I'm like I said I'm a lush junkie some of my favorite lush masks are um, love lettuce braised honey and cupcake those are more for oily skin, but they have stuff for everyone, like everyone, everyone. And then another one of my favorite mask, masks from Lush is the mask of uh, manganese. And this is just a little sample. It looks like that. You can get it in big ones. But all these masks, they penetrate different things on your face. Um, they do different things. So you can find one that's designed for whatever you want it to work for for your face. Um... The next one is steam toners. A lot of the times, the reason when you go to spas, they put you in a steamer or they put hot um, towels on your face is because hot water opens up your pores and it allows you to get a really deep clean. So every time you wash your face, I would suggest that you wash it with uh cold oh, hot water not cold water hot water wash it with hot water and then what you're going to do after you wash your face is you're going to rinse it with cold water because the cold water will close the pores back up but while you're doing like your spa or whatever or facials uh use hot water so steam toners are really good you can find steam toners everywhere lush has them you can make your own at home um by just boiling water and you can add like um honey you can add all sorts of stuff into the pot that you're boiling and then you just take a towel and you put it over your head and then you're going to put your head over the uh, boiling water and the steam is going to help open up your pores and the stuff that you put inside of the water will help um, clean out your pores and stuff like that. Another one is uh, the way I clean out my pores. I have very defined pores and bad blackheads on my nose. It's like my... I'm so self-conscious about it. But I use the uh, Biore... Um, deep cleansing uh, facial pores. These will help pull out blackheads from your nose and you should only use these about once a week but if you're going to do kind of a spa facial day at home then I would recommend doing these to help just kind of clean out your pores on your nose. 
And one of my tricks is to, I do this every single night. They make, like, they make specialty, like, tools to do this. But um, instead of paying, like, the $10 to buy the tools, this is going to be my tip to you, is if you take a bobby pin, there you go, a bobby pin, and you use the curved part of the bobby pin, and you scrape it across anything that has blackheads. So if you have really bad blackheads on your nose, you're going to scrape it across your nose. It will help pull all the blackheads out um, and really deep clean your nose. I do this every single time I wash my face, um, whereas with the Biore strips, you can only use them like about, they recommend once every three days. But with this, you can use it every single day. And another good tip is with whiteheads and stuff like that, um, if you have a whitehead coming, the best way to pop it without, I know that sounds gross, without like causing major scarring or damage to your face is you want to put roofing. <laughs> you want to put pressure on all sides of the blackhead or the whitehead. So with this, you can just push it against it if you have one to clear it out and it should help clear it out without causing um, a lot of damage. So that's my little trick to you. I have one that's just designed for it. Um, so I'm not like putting this in my hair because that would be gross. But this is way cheaper than I think buying the tools at like, you know, like at Ulta or something because those can get kind of expensive. Those are my little tips and um, tricks. Uh, before Rufus, oh. I will leave. I will leave in the description box below just some links to your your to make your own homemade masks. Um, like I said, honey is really good. Um, uh, coconut, like cooking coconut oil, is really good. You can buy that at like Whole Foods. Um, coconut oil and coconut milk are really good for your face. And egg is really good for your face. Um, if with eggs, if you decide to use an egg mask, I would suggest if you are oily skin, you want to use the white um, part of the egg, so not the yolk. And if you have dry skin, I would use the just the yolk, not the white part. And if you have combination skin, I would use the whole egg. Um, just because the yolk is going to cause more oiliness to your face. Um, so if you're oily skin, don't use the yolk. Um, and the white is going to kind of dry stuff out. And then obviously if you have dry skin, don't use the white. Use the um, yolk part of the egg. Those are my tips. I will be posting a video on Sunday. I've decided that I'm going to do uh, videos three days a week. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. And that's really expensive for Target. Um, so that's probably why they went on sale for 75% off. Um, but I bought this dress and...